get the, the red zone overtime show underway here. Welcome back. KTRE Sports Director Ryan Smith is going to join us to talk NAC and Hallsville. And Ryan, tell us more. Yeah, MC, NAC, Hallsville, it's a NAC second district game of the year. You know, they were coming in off of a bye week, and I talked to Coach House earlier this week, and he said that this was the first regular season bye week that they had in four years, and honestly, it, it looked like it from both on the field and in the stands as well. It's just you went into the stadium, and there was just no energy at all from the sideline to on the field to in the stands. Just in general, it just, it, it just didn't feel like – a normal knack game and that definitely showed from the style of play on the field I mean uh, it was just a it was just a, a dominant game from Hallsville from from the first snap really I mean knack able to punch first score an early touchdown but then 21 point uh, 21 straight points in the first half for Hallsville and I mean it was just it was over from there and just the, the overall energy difference on each side was just really clear and I think you could tell that uh, that uh, knack was coming in off of a bye week because it certainly showed in all aspects. Of well, well, you make a good point about the energy. When I saw the quarterback get into the end zone, he was psyched. And I saw the body language of Knack's players are like, oh, man, what is going on? When you <laughs> saw what was going on in front of you, what was unfolding in front of you, and I know you haven't been here long, so you know you're still learning who our teams are. But but you see enough of Knack to wonder what's going on, correct? Yeah, I mean, like I said, they were coming off of a bye week this past week. It's the first bye week that they've had in four years during the regular season. So it kind of seemed like you know it, they kind of dragged in that bye week with them. And like I and like we both said, the energy levels from both sides, I saw on a fourth and 10 uh, incompletion, it was a pass, pass breakup uh, by Hallsville. I mean, that corner was just went ballistic. I mean, he did the, he did the seat belt strapped in the wide receiver celebration. He was, he was hyped to get that, to get that uh, PB. And it's like, man, where is this energy on the NAC sideline? It just, it just wasn't there. And uh, it just in general, it, the energy just was not there throughout the entire stadium. And I think, uh, I think they're going to get after it this next week in Nacogdoches. And I, I think Coach House is going to have those boys ready to play next week. Yeah, because if you're watching this game, you're thinking Hallsville is coming off the bye week. You're looking like they were saving their, their energy and they were healing and they were healthy and they were ready to get after it. So, all right, buddy. Well, thanks a lot. Good job. And we'll see you next week. Ryan Smith, the KTRE Sports Director. Real quick, though. He's an OU alum, y'all. OU in Texas. Come on. Tomorrow. I'll do it. I oh, yeah. OU. <laughs> you Come know on, you're baby. in Texas now. You in Texas Red now. Red River. It's, it's, it's in my blood. But sooner right. born, sooner bred, baby. Who's winning tomorrow? Go Who's going to win tomorrow? Do you even have to ask me that, MC? Come on. Oh, that's a true-blooded old you guy. I okay. mean, it's, it's not even a question. I, I, I number hear one, you. Number one, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. OU, I like that. All right. All right. Good job. Lock your doors. Okay.